We have more random battles, this time in dark mode. And not a great lead matchup, but we can get T-Spikes up, which is kind of cool. But we have a Bomb of Snow, which counters Lantern. I'm going to greet a T-Spikes here on probably... Yeah, Scald's fine. They have Volt Switch. I don't have a Ground type, but I have counters. I have Vile Plume. I have a Bomb of Snow. Mouse Hold's a really good Pokemon. Aloma Mola's really good. Not into Lantern, but it's generally good. Poltergeist is fine, too. It's actually really good. We have a good team. We'll go Vile Plume. That's the perfect outcome. We have Giga Drain. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of damage here. Or not. But the fact that we have counters to Lantern is really good. They go to our Caladon. Okay, at least I didn't hit it with Giga Drain. But now what? Should I go? It's risky. I don't have a good way to damage our Caladon. If it's Lum Swords Dance, I'm in a lot of trouble. I guess a Bomb of Snow. The problem is I can't cover both physical and special at the same time. I'm going to Sleep Powder. They are special attacking. That's good. Okay. Now we have some more breathing room to actually attack. We don't have a good way to do damage. Maybe a Bomb of Snow? That's AV by the looks of it. Hmm. If it's AV, can I back Aloma Mola to do anything? Probably not. Let's go to Aloma Mola. Scald, I guess? Okay. Th that one good, good information we got is it's probably Scarf or Specs. If there were AV, I think they would have tried to stay in and wake up. Komala, we can protect on that. Scout it out. Okay, so, Poltergeist, do I do it? So, here's what I know. I know that they're kind of weak to T-Spikes. Do I punish that immediately? They could knock off predicting it, for example. I think I can afford to be a little patient. Yeah, I can afford to be a little patient here. Mousehole time? Maybe? Mousehole does Oko. We know it's like AV. Even if they go to our Caledon, because we know, or we, we strongly believe it's choice locked, it's really not a problem. Oh, let's remove this Pokemon. Very likely to go all the way. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's very convenient. They go to Meow Skirada, don't we, Oko? But we get outsped. Now, Obama Snow. Take care of that. Takes care of that. The U turn. Yeah, boots Mouse Garada, not a long term threat. Now, they go to Passimian, that's going to take damage. Aloma Mola is always a good initial switch in as we find out what they have in store. Yeah, bulk up, that's fine. Because now we can flip turn into a different Pokemon. Like Encore Mousehold. And even if they switch out knowing I'm about to Encore, it's really hard to actually punish me here. I could even go Aloma Mola, maybe? Aloma Mola would live Flower Trick. But I do want to keep... Yeah, I can go Aloma Mola. Yep. Keep, keep a good Pokemon in front of everything. Yeah, they go to Passimian. That gives me flip turn on it. Gunk shot doing no damage. Now... Vile plume time? No, let's go mouse hold. Pop bomb into Arcaladon. That's gonna do, like, literally... By the 10th hit, I'm probably doing maybe 1% of damage. But still, 1% 10 times? Okay, I'm just gonna skip to end. Okay. We did 85... Hard switch Aloma Mola in. Wish. Yep, that did no damage. Yeah, that was kind of greedy, to be honest. Now we go to Obama Snow, we get Aurora Veil up. Vile Plume, always. No, we could even go Vespa Queen. I could have gone Vespa Queen there. Okay. 
Okay. Yep, okay. And our Caladon get oh gets poisoned too. Insult to injury. Hit him with the pressure. Drop the PP down to four. Roost off the damage. They go lantern. Heavy duty boots lantern. I always go Obama Snow here. No reason not to. They volt switch, but at this point. It's a losing game with everything getting uh, para uh, poisoned. Meowth's Garot is the best bet to U-turn, but then I just hit another Pokemon with Blizzard or Woodhammer. Very comfortable. They don't even have the Steel typing, so Mouse Hole does a little bit better into them. They're Choice Scarf by the looks of it. Slacking into Polarath, I don't really like that. They're going to Fighting type move me. I'm just going to Giga Impact and hope they circle throw. They close combat. Is that AV? AV guaranteed. So I'm going to lose one Pokemon, and that's kind of fine, to be honest. Oh, I, they got greedy. They really got greedy there, because... The reason that was bad, because I had to stay in. So they didn't... They should have always close combated there. Go Pseudo Udo. They Willow, that's not fine, but at least we can head smash. Should I Woodhammer into Polarath? Maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Or is Earthquake better? Now, if I'm gonna make a predict, I'm gonna go all in. I'm gonna Woodhammer into Polarath. Iron Treads? That's not bad, not good, but. Lando in, we threaten Earthquake on everything. Amoongus, okay, we can taunt that. The Giga, leftovers. Do I, I go to Coridon. Okay, now I threaten Flare Blitz, I threaten Outrage too. I threaten U-Turn as well. Okay. This is a good outcome. Now they don't have a Flash Fire Pokemon. And I'm confused, which means I can switch out of, you know, Iron Treads coming in here. They're going to go Iron Treads. I'm going to go Lando on that. I'm going to U-turn on the switch to Amoongus. I'm going to go back to Coridon. And my son would have run out by then. So I'll be able to get it back up again. And I have Flare Blitz to Oko stuff. But they go to Doug Trio instead, so I'm... They can't Oko me, so they're they're going to either Terra Ground, or they're going to hope they get lucky. Come on, don't do it to me. Yep. Oh, what a stupid play. <laughs> Man, instead of, like, playing... Instead of playing for an actual play, they went for the... You know, what is it? A 60% chance it works? A 30% chance it works? Well, there it is. They did trap Coridon, that's for sure. It's going to be tricky to break Amoongus here, I have to be careful. Okay, so I can knock off here, which is not bad. They're probably going to spore. I could. I actually like the idea of getting rid of Leftovers, makes it weaker to Lando. They spore me here, that's fine. Well, it's not that fine, but we'll go slacking now. I want to be able to throw off an attack. Okay. They probably go Iron Treads, but I think I'm going to be fine with Giga Impact. Okay, we take care of Amoongus here. They have Como. I have Lando. Okay. They kind of have to tear a Steel almost. I don't want to... Do anything too stupid here. Let's go hard Lando. Hard Lando. Intimidate. We dodge Scale Shot, which is extremely lucky. 
Now, the question here... Do we tear a ground earthquake or not? The problem is, I... I actually don't think I can afford to tear a ground here. But... Maybe I have to. The main problem is, I don't want to be too weak to Doug Trio. You know what? I'm gonna make a call here that I can tear a ground. Oh, that lived on one. That was 90, like 95% chance to KO. It literally lived on one HP. Well, they're gonna be able to scale shot again. My iron boulder is kind of good, not great. That was, that was literally 95% chance to Oko, but I did dodge a uh, scale shot, so that's not... Uh, it's not something to really complain about too much. The question is now what? I kind of want to go pseudo Wudo and keep Lando alive for Intimidate. I go pseudo Wudo. They know I'm going to Sucker Punch, and that's why I Earthquake. It, it's a 50-50. They got the predict, right? And now I Intimidate. But what now? It's all losing here. Hmm. Do... I... I just faint to everything. Okay, let's... What, what do I want to do here? I want to lose Meow Skirata. Which didn't happen. Okay, well, I want to go back to Lando now. Okay, Lando. Iron Boulder. Okay, they, they don't have any attack left, so maybe Slacking can win. Maybe. Right? They don't, as long as they don't flinch me, right? Okay. As long as they don't flinch me again. Yeah. Uh, it is what it is. Like, and over the course of the game, we got lucky in that game too, like dodging circle throw, right? These things happen. Okay, Azumarill into Pikachu, not great. And we can't stop Volt Switch, unfortunately. Let's go hard Dragapult. Okay, that worked perfectly. And we have... So Dragon Darts isn't a guaranteed Oko, but Terra Blast is a guaranteed Oko. And they go to Pyroar. I'm um, just bad. Okay. Usually... You expect Draco Meteor or something, you wouldn't go to a, a normal type on a Dragon type. Usually. But I just played myself into a bad spot. 20, 237, outspeeds everything. I do have Aqua Jet there. You go to Quick Quavel. I have Staraptor. I go back to Azumarill. Okay, they gave up their Terra too. Not really high value. Yeah, this is good. Okay, they, they pretty much gave up their Terra for not much. Just like me. Now, I have angles to win with Halucha if I can get the close combat right. We give up Azumarill here at this point. They're going to reveal one more Pokemon as well. The Halucha angle is probably what I have to look at. Lycanroc, okay. Copper Raja does live in attack, doesn't it? Yeah, Copper Raja does live. Even close combat. Okay. Four on three. They're going to pick one up with uh, Pikachu, but I have Greedent. Okay. I have to find a way to maneuver Halucha. And... Mighty Anna is a Pokemon that might let me do that. 
Okay, hypothetically, how much does Halucha's close combat do? It does 80 to Pikachu, which would be enough for quick attack. We don't know anything about the Mighty Anna. I think I just raw body slam. Okay. No para. We know it's banded. I want to keep Greedent alive. It's Halucha time. Now the question here, do I close combat immediately or do I swords dance and then close combat? I think I close combat immediately in case they go hard Pikachu. They go hard Rabska, okay. And would you believe it, Brave Bird does not KO. Oh, I have to attack anyway. Okay. We go Star Raptor. Hmm. We U turn to Greedent. But now we lose to Volt Switch, Volt Switch. Okay, they go to Mighty Anna instead. Does that Oko Star Raptor? Their Crunch does Oko Star Raptor. Okay, we have to Body Slam. And we're going to lose here too. Huh? Okay. Well, oh, yeah, I, I probably lose to... Well, I can win by crit now, but yeah. Oh, never mind. I got luck unlucky with that roll. I'm going to end the episode there and see you guys tomorrow.